ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages, I am the C-H-A-L-L, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park newsroom update, where today we're going to be sharing news on Merlin Magic Making spotted around Jewel. Now this following picture is from Towers to, uh, Tower Street, so big shout out to Tower Street and uh, credit goes to you for the image in question that we're about to share, or the images in question that we're about to share on your screen. So please do like, comment, subscribe, click the case bell so you miss YouTube video, and for now let's get into the news from the Alton Towers Resort on the spotting of Merlin Magic Making around Jewel, the haunted house strikes back. So as you can see from image number one on your screen right now, Fan Dabby Dozy is a Merlin Magic Making um, vehicle or van uh, spotted around the back of Jewel. Now, this is obviously very interesting because usually when Merlin Magic Making are spotted around rides, of course you remember they were spotted around the House of Monsters Scare Maze a couple of years back, a few years back they were spotted at Charlie and the Chocolate Factory the ride, and of course you know Charlie became the Alton Towers Dungeon a few months down the line from that, and then a few months down the line from Merlin Magic Making being around House of Monsters, that became Gangster Granny the Ride. So obviously, you know, it, 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 it seems like a foregone conclusion that most times when Merlin Magic Making is spotted around Jewel, you know, they usually are there to sort of scout the ride. And if you want some extra evidence towards this, on your screen right now, Fandabidozi is the second image in question. Now this is the extended queue line and you can see it's been cleared up. Now this extended queue line has not been used in a while. So this is, I think the signs are definitely pointing to a refurbishment of some kind with Jewel. Um, you know with Merlin Magic Making Spotter, with the extended queue being cleared out. Uh, we've had previous rumours and murmuring, murmurings around Jewel and something happening to Jewel maybe next season. Um, and it does make sense, especially when you've got all the work going on with Nemesis and the retracking of Nemesis next season for the 2024 season. Um, you need something sort of between Jewel and Subterra to sort of keep the area going. Uh, obviously, you've got Galactica, Blade, and the Funk and Fly if that comes back next season in Forbidden Valley. But in Gloomy Woods, you've got an you've got a ride like Jewel that's not going through the best of times right now and needs something happening to it just to keep that end of the park busy while they're working on Nemesis and to keep that sort of Gloomy Wood and Forbidden Valley section busy while they're retracking the big Nemesis ride. Um, so I feel like this could be a really great idea. I think this could be a great way for the park to go. Um, I am going to talk more in detail about my thoughts on the possibility of Jewel being refurbished and what I could see happen to it and what things I could see going into it uh, towards the end of the video. But for now, let's just share my thoughts on the spotting of Merlin Magic Making and the clear out of the extended queue as potential evidence to suggest a Jewel refurbishment for 2023. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, Thrill Six of all ages. That is your news update. Now, shout out to Towers Street again for the pictures. Uh, credit goes to you. Um, now, obviously, overall, it's a very interesting situation. Like we said, when we usually see Merlin Magic making around a, 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 an old ride, usually get it's, it's not too long before they start working on the inside and start working on it. Um, <clears throat> so I think Merlin could be just scouting the area for now because it is still operating for now anyway. Um, but we don't know how long that will be for. Usually when Merlin Magic Making are outside these rides, they're usually closed or have been closed for over a year. So, I mean, look look at Charlie for over a year, for example, and, um, you know, House of Monsters, that wasn't operating after Scarefest, so obviously that's been closed for a few months before Merlin Magic Making was sort of spotted around that site. So, obviously with an attraction still currently running, maybe they're just scouting the area for a while and then move into the attraction at a certain date. So, I mean, to be fair, if you, if you sort of look at, the, look at it from this perspective and look at it from the queue line perspective, I really don't think Jewel's going to close until uh, sort of end of August, start of September. I really don't see it happening until then. Because, again, you look at Bubble Works, for example, when that got refurbished into the Gruffalo, that closed around September time, and then they sort of moved in, and they kept the ride system, and just did a whole re-theme to it, and then it reopened for the start of the season in March in 2017. So, 
you know, you look at Bubble Works into Gruffalo, for example, and think maybe that's what we're looking at here with Jewel. Maybe it's just a case of keeping the ride system and then bringing in a new theme. Um, now, obviously, we know with Jewel a lot has to be done to it. We know that certain theming elements need to be changed. We know that certain effects need to start working again. We know that the blasters sometimes can be a bit sketchy. Um, <clears throat> some people have said it's worked. Some people said it hasn't worked at times. Um, we just need a bit more consistency with the ride. And I think some kind of massive overhaul could do that ride justice. Now, what it could be, at this, again, at this stage, we don't know. The big, ho the big hope that I don't want it to be is an IP. And I've said that for months. I've said that for over a year now with rides. I don't want an IP here. Um, <clears throat> look at, I think Heidi Park in the past invested in a Ghostbusters attraction. I don't want to see Ghostbusters coming into Alton Towers. I mean, it's a foregone conclusion, conclusion that that is a possibility. I just don't want that to happen personally. Um, I'd like to see maybe a family horror theme coming in, maybe like a family version. Um, I know I'm not a massive fan of IPs, but look at what Thought Park did with the Black Mirror Labyrinth. Maybe Alton Towers does like a, a partnership with a horror franchise and they bring that into the ride. I mean, we do have horror franchises in, in Scare Mazes and also in Rides. You've got Saw the Ride, you used to have Saw Alive, you used to have Cabin in the Woods, you used to have My Bloody Valentine at Thought Park, Alton Towers. You know, we have the Child and Chocolate Factory film, obviously that wasn't horror, but you get my point. Um, so they have brought in intellectual properties before, so it's not going to be a foregone conclusion that that won't be the direction they go in for this potential refurbishment. I just don't want it to be Ghostbusters. In fact, if, if anything, I'd like to see a family horror film go in, or some kind of big horror franchise to really pay attention to the details and the theming. Um, I mean, they've got some great potential to go with some potential horror movies and bring them in. So... I think it'll be interesting. I think it'll be very interesting. I mean, comment down below what you would do to Jewel. If a new theme was coming in next year, you know, what would you do to it? But I think with Merle Magic making spotted and also with the extended queue cleared out, it seems like signs are really pointing to a 2023 refurbishment. So, uh, there we go, guys. That's it for this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, I am the C-H-A-L-L. Donkster born, but built for theme parks. Keep living the coast life. Hope you like the new scenery in the background. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a jewel-tastic day.